How you going guys? Just slide in here before the show begins to deliver a quick announcement. Uh, Spotify have decided to give us more money. They're basically in love with us. I mean, we've been together for the past year, so I guess it kind of makes sense. It's getting pretty serious. But anyway, basically the situation is that the audio version of the podcast will now be released exclusively on Spotify, so you can't listen to it anywhere else. And the video version will be released on Spotify one week before it comes out on YouTube. So on Spotify, it's out a week before it's out on YouTube. Uh, so if you want these episodes fresh, Spotify is the place to go. Um, in all seriousness, I don't know if this podcast would be able to exist without Spotify support, and we are all so thrilled to be marrying, I mean partnering with them. We're thrilled to be partnering with them, again. Uh, be sure to follow The Misfits on Spotify to get new episodes in your library early. The podcast is free to listen to on Spotify, there's no change to ads, and you'll get early access to video episodes and bonus content. Listen and watch new episodes of The Misfits every Tuesday, only on Spotify. They made me say that. Enjoy the show. Kia ora. Welcome to the Misfits Podcast, uh, rated five stars on iTunes by Caramel Sharon. He or she says, these nuts, haha, got them. What do you say about that, friends? I believe it is supposed to be pronounced, these nuts. Yeah, so, that's not a word. <laughs> Gotti. <laughs> Gotti. What is this, Tom Fullery? Well, these implying to uh, a slur type way of saying the slur. slur so it's slur. offensive oh, no we're starting off <laughs> yeah these is am i gonna get cancelled again Jeez. yeah you, you shouldn't read things without googling them first oh. how, do, how, how do we all feel about the fact that that meme is actually copyrighted on youtube what these nuts these nuts ha, got him is actually copyrighted you can't use it that so, makes me kind of angry that's it just does. crazy it makes me angry. how you, can you copyright memes is, is it the guy who said these nuts got him the, the, i would say probably that like someone's been like a big company's been like oh that's a good meme people are going <laughs> to use that we're going to make money off that so, right. well, you, know, you could it? you could name your nut company these nuts yeah and then you could you could that's copyright actually it. Probably i guess you yeah. could copyright the the word if used on shirts and shit but i think how the actual you? audio the, 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 I, I talked to a guy that went viral on vine like years and years ago, I don't want to name him because I don't know, but basically, <laughs> <laughs> basically, uh, he had a very viral clip and it was being posted all over the place and, and like the clip itself was being parodied. And he told me that a company reached out to him and said, Hey, like we can put this on like the, the copyright system on YouTube and we can just claim all of it for you and we can give you like 90% of the revenue. He was like, fuck yeah. Mm. He, yeah. Made a, he made a fuck ton of money. So imagine that company probably goes around mm. to yeah. like every 100%. big meme yeah. that, that gets put in videos and shit and just the audio clip and they just claim everything. Wait, mm. does that mean we need to censor the thing I'm that sure. Are we going to get no money from this podcast now because we said... These nuts. nuts. <laughs> These nuts. No. <laughs> Should have said it just like him now. Like. We're absolutely fucked. Jay's here. Yeah, what's going on, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I glitched. I Low confidence, that. Jay's here. <laughs> <laughs> Every, uh, 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 swagger's here. How are you? So, uh, Toby's here. I, I, I'm here. Matt's here. Yes. Hello. And Mason's here too. Hello. Welcome to the Low T podcast. We have no testosterone. <laughs> it's true. That we do. That we do. <laughs> but you know who does? Those fighters we just watched just yeah. a few moments before Ooh. upstairs. Yeah. We watched the Conor McGregor fight just now, and it was boring. It was pretty Come boring. On, dude. Nah, it was a good fight. Come it was on, a good man. fight. It was a good no, fight. You it was a good fight. Dude, fighting is such an art. It's it is so an art. Primal. It's, it's primal. primal. It's martial art. Cavemen yeah. locked in a cage. Nah, you're right. I'm just taking the piss. It was actually quite an entertaining fight. Uh, I like the guy that did the backflip. Mm, yeah, yeah, right before, and that was oh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> So Michael, Michael, uh, Michael Chandler. I don't know. Yeah, he beat the was Michael Chandler. <laughs> yeah. Gregor was going strong. Yeah. Um, Who was he fighting? I've already forgotten his name. So, uh, Dustin Paul, Dustin, Dustin Poirier, Poirier, Poirier yeah, American yeah. boy. And he's just he, he did start, well. He started strong. He started punching him in the head, and then fucking knocked Next him minute. back a bit. And then the guy just punched him back, and then uh, that yeah. was it. That's it. <laughs> McGregor yeah. was down. I mean, McGregor's. I mean, they're both the same age, though. So yeah, I was gonna say it was, it was very balanced. Weight. It was an even fight. They were like the same height and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he had like two extra inches on his reach, but like, mm. they're yeah. like the same. That's crazy. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like any of us know what we're talking about. No. Mason, Mason probably knows a little like, bit. Yeah. Slightly, slightly. I don't, do I don't follow MMA. Yeah. Like, but Muay Thai. How did we used to fight saber tooth tigers? Well, was was spears. spears. You spears. did that. Well, I did that. Yeah. How did you used to do that? I uh, like. Bow and arrows and stuff. Oh, yeah, from a distance. Yeah, from a distance. Like, oh, yeah. you, you don't want to be like up in their face because they'll just bite you with their big teeth. Why don't they just yeah. do that with MMA? 
Yeah, they should use bow and arrows. Yeah, arrows I feel just, like that would just like make it way easier. Just crossbows yeah. in the race. Why don't they use guns? Like they, they, just, they, they shoot the bow and arrow and it goes through the chain link fence and the odd guy and just fucking hits Dana man. White. Yeah, what I don't like about MMA is that it's too confusing. There's too many people throwing punches at the same time. It needs like a turn-based combat system like, like RuneScape. Yeah, yeah, so true. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> like a damage bar. Like yeah. every, every tick. It's oh just God. like, yeah. It's too fast-paced, man. See I the people know. stand around putting bets on that shit. <laughs> just staking, bro. Staking. Staking. <laughs> That's a staking. Uh, however, when do, reckon, when do you reckon the day will be when we have like proper robot fights in a ring? I mean, there yeah, are. Yeah, already yeah, they, there was uh, what are the fuck they used to call it? Battle bites. Oh they yes, like, yeah, 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 little remote control, control cars. cars. No, yeah. dude, it, you're like, talking about like that movie Full Steel or whatever it's called. I don't What's know. Real Steel. Real Steel. Yeah, yeah. You want the with the guys where... that control it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a sick movie. Yeah, they could probably like they could totally probably do that, but it kind of takes the fun out of it because like the whole like reason why people like to watch like those fights with people beating the shit out of each other is because they love it when blood is drawn they love mm. it when they see like brains rattling in other people's skulls yeah but like metal flying off and shit like, oil splattering yeah, yeah, it's circuit really really boards cool. exposed like, but it's bah. also it's more expensive bah. to build maintain yeah. and repair those robots than it is for then it a is fucking to pay an UFC yeah. fighter 50 million yeah, dollars yeah I don't know yeah. if, I don't know <laughs> if that <laughs> is <laughs> true yeah they wouldn't have to pay the fighters do you think it takes <laughs> away from like the art of like the whole martial art thing well, no, can, they can coexist, right? What's a better movie, Tekken or Transformers? I've never seen Tekken, but I've seen Transformers. I, but which one? I reckon Transformers. <laughs> which, which, which Transformers movie? <laughs> with which the one, one? All of them, they're all good. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Because it's just fucking robots punching on. It's hectic. <laughs> 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 Transformers, it was kind of hectic. Yeah, yeah. And like they all turn into different machines and shit. And cars and planes. Like planes, yeah. Are they still making that franchise? Are they still Transformers Surely movies coming not, out? Nah, they had to have oh, finished. Fuck, dude, I they know. had to have. Mm. Who knows? What a fucking weird concept. Robots from another planet that turn into cars. <laughs> It's what like, the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is pretty weird. They're the like, how do we? How do we how, like, it was just some guy who was like, "Oh, I have an idea for a toy. It's a robot that turns into a car. How do we market it? Let's make an entire franchise uh, where that happens." Oh, well, what's their origin story? Yeah, they're from another planet. Wait, what did they turn into when they were at their planet? Cars. Would they still have cars? <laughs> Are they so? or? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not eight years old, so I'm not, wait, I'm not caught up on the Transformers lore. Maybe no. I'm completely wrong. But this makes no sense because why would a robot need a car if it can turn itself into a car? Exactly. The way they turn into the car is they like scan a car and then they become that car. Really? So I thought they were like predetermined. Would, I thought it was predetermined. Pre no, when, when when they like in the first movie when they land, they oh. like see. Like Optimus sees a truck and then becomes that truck. And they do it to fit in, right? To blend yeah. in. Oh. So like, what did they fucking turn into on their home planet? Did okay. they just Alien make cars. cars so they could turn into them? I think they were just robots back yeah. there. I don't think they turned into anything. They were just weird oh, naked shit. robots. Weird naked robots yeah. having <laughs> stinky <laughs> space <Weird> sex. <laughs> robot sex. Imagine a Transformer like crashes through the roof of like a porn studio and he sees a fucking machine. It's like, I gotta blend in. <laughs> <laughs> just, Optimus Prime becomes a Hitachi one. So just rolling down the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! Oh, fuck. fuck! Let's make that movie happen. Yeah, it's probably, it probably oh, is a yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll, call, I'll call me a Malcova. <laughs> it goes. Oh man, how are we guys? How are we doing? I'm Not good. Too bad. Pretty, pretty hot. Good. Pretty hot. Pretty it is fun. very yeah. hot in Australia right now. Very hot. Uh, Mason and I have just come back from a little adventure to Adelaide. Yeah, yeah, right. which was good fun. It yeah, was a, it was very last like. Well, all our trips are last minute, but it was more like an unplanned adventure. I was adventure. in the middle of stream, similar yeah. to your situation with the snow. I'm just mm -hmm. enjoying myself. Ryan calls me. He's like, hey, we're going to Adelaide, man. I'm like, what? No, he didn't, he didn't tell you where you were going oh, at well, first. Uh, yeah, he so, was like, oi, we're going somewhere. You want to come? Yeah. Right? And I was like, do I have to? And he's like, yes. And <laughs> essentially, I really didn't have to. But mm -hmm. it, nonetheless, it was enjoyable. Uh, and he told you it was like two hours away, didn't he? Yeah, you? he said it was like, I was like, man, as long as it's not five hours away. Like, Wait, two hours? Adelaide's two no, hours? No, it's not. No, <laughs> it's oh, I was like, bro, it can't bro. be five hours away. Like, I don't want to go. And he's like, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, they went to, they came to Geelong. Well, they, they, picked, they, picked, they picked me up first. I was called at the same day. I kind of knew that Ryan was going to Adelaide. I still didn't know if I wanted to come, but he sweet talked to me, gave me the puppy dog guys. I was like, fine, I'll come yeah. to Adelaide. So they got me, they got Chad, uh, Mitchell, uh, Peckett, uh, uh, Darcy, you know, a few <laughs> other people. Uh, Nick was there. Uh, yeah. Kind of a little ragtag team. And we all got on the big old van that Ryan has, which is basically just gutted out, four seats, yeah. two love sacks in the back, completely unsafe. 
uh, all gather each other up. I was really low energy, but Chad was fucking on one because he's trying to film a vlog. He was actually like on meth pretty much. But he was on, he was on Adderall, <laughs> so you know it's basically on meth. Yeah. He was like wide eyed, trying to get content, oh pretending to be God. a pirate and shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> is Chad still on the pirate role play? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. We were on the way to pick up Masons. He was just fucking. You know, oh, so we you were didn't singing. pick me up. I had to get an Uber there, mate. Well, no, yeah, true. But we went out to Geelong to come grab you. And on I just the way a bit down the road, on the way, we were singing uh, sea shanties and the like. <laughs> I was so low energy. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that I'm about to commit to this fucking nine hour journey, which oh, is how long dang. it takes to get That's to Adelaide. Fucked. That's fucked. Uh, we go to Geelong. Immediately, we get recognized a bunch in Geelong just getting out of the van. For some reason, kids in Geelong just know who we are, yeah. especially you. Well, like, no one saw me that yeah. night, but. You know, I get like drinks bought for me and shit in town, which is pretty pog. Yeah, just like everyone was just super friendly there. We grabbed- Long is a nice place, man. It, it although is. it is meth head mm. capital, it's <laughs> fucking, it's a nice place. Does it have one nice. of the best schools in us in Australia or something? Uh, but isn't it, it's like Geelong High or something? Is like that's the one I went to. Well, they're doing. A, is it like a private school there? No, no, it's public. Well, probably, I think it's like one of the probably one of the best public schools. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Um, they're doing like a two million dollar renovation at the moment. Holy no shit. shit! Yeah, they got it given by the yeah. government or something. Elon yeah. Musk is making a huge like uh, battery network in July. Really? Yeah. So a what Elon's making? Yeah, Elon is doing like you know like those giant battery networks that he didn't like. Uh, I think it was Vegas or whatever, but he's doing the same thing in July. What the fuck? So there's going to be so a, huge, a huge power grid. Pretty random. Oh, there you so, go. Yeah. Fucking battery city. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. we weren't exactly charged up and ready to go now, were we? Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, you know, pun, very punny. We get in the van. Mason finds out that we're not actually driving two hours away. We're, no. It's a fucking nine hour journey. Yeah. And you're kind of. <laughs> what was your reaction? I was like, well, I mean, I, I kind of knew because I subtly heard about it the night we went to Crown. Yeah. Mm. So it was like in the back of my mind. But when I found out, I was like, I kind of already knew that. Wait, it's eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this. And yeah. like, I was just like... Jumps out of the You room. were on the fence, but you bought some piss. So you had some drinks. Yeah, yeah. I had like eight, <laughs> sleep drinks. Juice. Yeah, yeah, sleep the, juice. That kind of mellowed you out a little bit. Yeah, it helps with the <laughs> ride for sure. Yeah. Anyway, we get in the van. I'm smoking lots of weed on the back. Chad's on these, driving. Oh, Chad is driving very, very <laughs> fast. Fun? You know, we're trying to make Scary. good time. I'm on the back on these big love sack bean bags. Just fucking bouncing up and down. Every time I do this, I think... This is so stupid. I could probably die. Like if we if we if we crash, I'm yeah. fucked. But uh, but we, I, I was chilling. Chad was being an absolute dickhead on the road. He, <laughs> he was, was going like 150. He was swerving, fuck. fucking going 150. Uh, Turn the lights off at one point. I was like, what oh, the so fuck? it was at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at yeah it was. It was at night. Right. So the the roads were pretty empty, and you know. For the oh, most part, yeah, it was straight. Like, yeah, but it was like halfway through Adelaide in the fucking wilderness. He didn't actually put anyone in that severe danger, but it sure as hell felt like it when you were in there. Well, he was sober. But it's not like he was fucked up. Yeah. But man, this was a long ass ride, man. Like for most of it, I was just spending my time curled up in a ball trying to get some fucking sleep. But yeah. uh, eventually we get there. We cross the border. We pull into Adelaide at what? Six in the morning? Yeah, six. Immediately, uh, we, we were staying at a hotel. We crash. We wake up. What else happened on the trip? We meet up with a uh, Raka Raka for dinner that night. Yeah, that was that's nice. sick. We, we that was really good. Fucked up. We um. I got so fucked up. Yeah, dude. He was, Cam was sculling wines and shit. Oh, holy like, fuck! Chad was just like, drink this, drink this, and like yeah. forcing him All to right. fucking scull it. And then <laughs> we had like, dude, there was like this. Me and Peckett needed to go to the toilet. We went in, and like I've never fucking had this before. But there was the most. Like it was pretty bad. The smell. It was rancid. There. It was fucked. <laughs> in the bathroom? In the, in the, in the, in the toilet? Like shit, in the men's right? bathroom? Um, it was like lingering, and it was there for like two hours, like the whole time. Well, you yeah. told me to go up there at the side of the night, and I, I thought that you just took a shit and wanted me to smell it. No. I was like, all right, good bit, good bit. It stinks in there. Very funny. I go back in like three minutes later. It still smells like. Yeah, rancid. I went in with Peckett and and like. Pull my cock out. I'm like, no, nah. turn around, leave. Fuck what that. His cock it? was actually still out when he left. So, yeah. so oh, shit, put that away. Well, did you figure out what the smell was? We or? asked it them. Was they someone, were like, someone took a shit. We, was... No, we asked the waitress and she was like, toilet smell, get over it. Wait, that's what she said? <laughs> more, more or less. What the fuck? Lines. Someone did a rank shit. It, I, I think don't know the plumbing what, was busted. I don't know what he must have eaten. The point is we sunk oh. many, many drinks. Uh, our lawyer was actually there and I got into an intense drink off with him. Uh, that's I so funny. I hadn't been this drunk in a very long time. The, the, the fun thing about Adelaide, beautiful state by the way, very green, lots of trees everywhere. They have these uh rentable scooters. 
Oh, like electric yeah. scooters, yeah. which is what we kind of used to get around. So after dinner, very fun dinner, uh, lots of levity, lots of fun. Uh, we get we get on the scooters and drive back to the hotel, just fucking wasted. Uh, yeah, I was dude. on the back of packets, just screaming at people like, "We're on a fucking scooter!" Kind of like, and was, apparently, I can't remember this myself. But. Yeah, it was fucking. It was interesting for sure. <laughs> get back to the hotel, uh, chilling, having some drinks, smoking some weed. I'm I'm on your balcony. We're kind of sitting outside. Remember on that yeah. table, you would, I was definitely not on your level. You no, were I was up. way. I hadn't been this drunk in ages, man. Yeah. I, I was drinking other people's drinks for them the entire Holy night. That's shit. the problem. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sitting there, and pretty quickly I realize, oh, I'm not really in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell this because I was sitting down like on the table like this, and I kept trying to like sit up straight and just be sober, but it was so turbulent, even just it's to like adjust that, yeah, my that body. Feeling when you oh. lift yourself up. And yeah. eventually, of course, I uh, realized that I have to vomit, and I simply turned to my left and just spew all over Mason's oh, balcony yeah. on the hotel. Went for a good like two minutes. It was a steady stream, <laughs> sort yeah. of just releasing it was the valve. Pink. It was well, probably. It was from the red wine, man. I don't yeah. think I don't I've ever seen Fitz throw up. I've, I be, I very rarely do throw up, but oh, I'll tell you what. Fuck? Every time I do throw up, it's when I'm staying at a fucking hotel. Uh, <laughs> That's why. Uh, blind drunk. I don't know what else you got up to that night, but I, I just went straight up to my uh, room, nah, sat on my bed, I, I vomited by my bedside on the carpet. And then rolled over and went oh to sleep. Oh my god! I just uh, kept drinking. So, <laughs> how, how did that get cleaned up? Uh, the, well, the next day, man, <laughs> I just slept with it there. I, I, I puked <laughs> by my bedstand. I was so drunk that I couldn't possibly even like tell, like transported myself to the bathroom. Holy. It was not okay. a responsible level. Yeah. It was yeah. intoxicated to be. Hotels need like a stretcher service. Yeah. Which yeah. Up. I kind of remember how I got up to the room, but I uh, screwed it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I slept off. You, however, stayed downstairs with everyone. And Ryan, what, ordered a bunch of room service? What, yeah, what happened? No, he ordered like at least, he ordered like fucking four steaks. Bloody room service is OP. Peas and shit, broccoli. He, he just ordered steaks. Didn't he order them blue as well? Yeah, oh, yeah. And like, blue. blue means like barely cooked. Like that's still yeah. blue in the Yeah, like a hair dryer and like, yeah, it's good enough. It's like just, it's like nothing. Shit. And nothing. we're all fucked up in our room and... It had to. It just had to be mine and Darcy's room, didn't it? It's, yeah. And God damn. Brian was just throwing peas at Darcy and just <laughs> oh, making a mess. God damn it. Chad was us. eating pasta, just fucked. Yeah. Watching yeah. World of Warcraft videos or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure, um, Danny, one of the Rucker Rucker guys. I think they both came that night. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they were pretty fucked up too. Yeah, was, they're legends. Though. They're such good fun. Oh, they're such good energy. It's crazy seeing like twins be yeah. on such a like almost the yeah, same wavelength like, they're like little cartoon characters the they, are, them, dude. they like have the same pitch and like <laughs> yeah. they just do everything at the same time it's, it's funny as hell it's so cool yeah yeah so that was our first night um how many nights did you stay total uh three it was three four three yeah it was th well actually i think it was only two but it felt like three because we got in at six yeah, in the morning yeah, so right. we slept and then had this dinner slept mm. again Next day, we kind of just chilled. Got, we, we went in the pool, went in the sauna, sweated out all the liquor. Uh, <laughs> and then that dinner, I mean, we were pretty dead, but like we had dinner on the balcony again. Josh Dubs showed up. Yeah, oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, good to see Josh. Um, yeah, I mean, Danny came again. Uh, it was a pretty chill evening. Not really too much happened. I went to the casino with Chad and, and Danny and, uh, we, and Josh. Josh came as well. Mm. I really didn't feel like going. I fucking hate the casino, but I, I went because Chad's an addict and I wanted to be <laughs> a good to friend. Support him. wanted to support him. <laughs> I went in with 500 bucks. I left with 900. Was pretty happy with that. Played nice. a bit of blackjack. Nice. Um, we slept. The next day is the day that we're supposed to be heading home. This is kind of where... You know, I guess the crux like the falling out starts. Yeah, falling so out. the van stinks. I don't know what that even means. The van <laughs> is was so, was so rancid after the journey down. Like we were, we had Maccas in there. They were like spilt drinks. The van is just in an absolute state. It stunk as well. We so we got yeah we like had to take it to a one of those washing joints like yeah. where they wash the fuck right. out of it I, and <laughs> we take it there and it's like it's, it's like this I don't know what it was called but it's like. Thirty dollars for a yeah. light wash, medium wash, and then there's like the super wash. Is that super so? Wash. So that's for the interior. Yeah, yeah, and yeah the the interior. they did everything. They cleaned they the love yeah, sacks yeah, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. the um, van was in a state though. Like we we like we were staying at quite a nice hotel. It was quite fancy, right? Yeah, and we we're pulling up in this ridiculous big van. You know how yeah. when you reverse, it beeps really yeah. loudly. Hor horrible. Like just we're the, just an absolute scene stumbling out of this thing, and like we're not only that, we're dropping it off to the valet, so they have to get in and drive the stinky <laughs> fucking oh, van yeah. as well. So we're like, okay, we we have to get this thing cleaned. Yeah, get it cleaned. It takes like four hours. We spend the day in town just getting brekkie and just kind of chilling. 
And then Chad gave the guy seven hundred bucks. Really? To yeah, it. for like a hundred. It was a bit watch. of a job, mate. Literally. Yeah, but the, the 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 question is though, did they were they the ones who fucked it up? Okay, yeah, because what happened oh, is no, what happened? we're trying to leave Adelaide and drive home, and we're driving out, and uh, we're heading into the Adelaide Hills, and Ryan notices that the engine lights clicking and that the van's not really going that fast so he turns for some reason into a mountain road and goes up a hill yeah drives all the way like oh, up a no. hill and then it's like oh no the van's fucked we need to call roadside assistance it was in limp mode it was in limp mode yeah. so it was only going like 60 k's yeah um and we're it's so fucking hot what was it like 5 p.m the yeah, sun's still pretty yeah. high in the sky we're on the side of a mountain with no shade just heating up i think the main oh, problem is that the van was just fucking that. overheating yeah. um but the van breaks down and we're like trying to get home that you know that night we're trying to not arrive at 6 a.m like yeah. last time because it sucks driving through the night um and ryan has to sit on the side of the road for like how long we we, we, we stranded for like two hours two and a half Jesus, probably. two and a half yeah. hours <laughs> he's on the phone to you know the um for roadside assistance so we're kind of bored uh, and Danny starts looking on his phone and is like, oh, there's a geocache like 300 meters down the hill. You know, like geocaches where you, you know, it's, it's like an app where uh, I actually have never done them before, but I believe it's like people hide little um, like boxes or little, I don't know, little things, yeah, little yeah, caches yeah. Uh, in the in the wild. Yeah, and then they, yeah, like a little thing in a, um, on the app is like a, a thing that shows you where it is and like it's your mission to go find them it's like a little oh, thing wow. people do for a hobby oh, okay. you find it and maybe you like leave something else there for the next yeah. person right sometimes they'll have little bits of paper and you can write your name on it yeah. and then it'll like show right. how many people have found it and That's stuff sick. like that so we're on the side of this mountain in the blistering hot adelaide weather it must have been like 35 <laughs> some shit like that and Danny's like, oh, it's, it's one like 300 meters down the hill. Oi, Chad, come on, let's go find this geocache. So Chad's like, fuck, all right, I guess. Chad's like lying on the side of the road. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck that. I'm just staying in the van. Yeah, I'm not going you were anywhere. Done. Yeah. You were fucking done. So myself, Danny, and Chad, you had the bright idea of walking down the side of the hill, which is very steep and like quite a long way down as well. Like it's actually all, the, uh, let me try and explain. So there's the motorway. And then there's the area where we turn off, we're up here on the top of the hill, and we have to get all the way down, cross the road again to find the geocache. Chad's a big fella. Shit. Danny is quite agile. I'm holding the camera. I'm not even wearing shoes. Fuck. I, I, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing the KFC slides, <laughs> <laughs> which are just like these shitty foam slides with my toes exposed. And we have this genius idea of like walking down the steep, dusty, nettle covered hill oh. to try and find this geocache chad's leading the way <laughs> we start going no down way. we get around like a quarter of the way down and we realize just how fucking far it is and how much of a mission we have ahead of us but we've already committed to the bit for chad's yeah. vlog so we keep on making our way down chad is like literally falling down the hill most of the way like he's sliding <laughs> on his fuck? ass i'm in a state daddy's like trying to save me as i'm like sliding with the fucking camera uh, we we're just making our way through like thorns and bushes. Eventually, we come across this huge patch of stinging nettle. <laughs> oh my god, it's it worse. <laughs> and Chad's like, guys, this is stinging nettle. We have to be very, very careful. We're like tiptoeing through this field. Chad's legs are like literally cut up. It looks like he fought a beer. Oh, uh, okay. He's like bleeding on his legs. He's covered in dust. <laughs> we stumble down. It's hilarious. You'll see the footage. Probably it was it was yeah, really good. It's probably like gonna come out in, down the hill. In Chad's vlog. His leg up. Man, we were just fucked. The group it. split up at that point. There was like, yeah, well, you guys went one way, another couple went the other way, like Mitchell and, um, I don't know who, I can't remember who else it was. Mitchell. Darcy. Yeah, Mitchell and Darcy, and then us in the van. Yeah. And like, while we're waiting to get whatever it's called, RSA or whatever the fuck it is, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. like, Ryan canceled the original, like, request to get us fit, like, the thing fixed. Right. And, um, like he cancelled it because he's like, oh the car's working again let's go and then no. started driving up the road and then it fucking goes back into limp mode yeah and then we pull over and then like he's like fuck we got to call him quick <laughs> to get him back here before it takes another like 40 minutes to call us we call no guy. no the, oh, the, guy, the yeah, car yeah. thing yeah and um he calls him and they answer and then the guy just drives right past us back down the hill and just fuck. fucks off Wait, so that like what? so it took like another 40 minutes just for them to get back <laughs> well, no way where did you think we went because we kind of just you just dis <laughs> so you just disappeared into the mountains dude like <laughs> fucking... into the wild and didn't you cross the freeway at one yeah, point yeah we had to cross the fucking freeway <laughs> it dude. was it was very dangerous like it's a miracle none of us like actually fell down a considerable height and got now. killed like i was concerned Holy for shit. chad fuck, but man. he he was like fuck it we just kind of went we eventually get all the way down we cross 
we're all like completely covered in dust. And you thought it was a great idea, didn't you? <laughs> it was very, it was fun. It was like a quite a fun boys adventure. A bit of a quest. A bit of a quest. Uh, we have to cross the freeway, which is highly illegal and dangerous. Uh, but we make it. We try and find the geocache on the other side of the hill. We're looking for so long, we just can't fucking you find can't, it. You didn't find it. We couldn't, oh, we didn't oh find it. I, I think someone must have taken the quiz. it. It's, it's completed. It's still, <laughs> the quiz it's is still, 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 still in the top left of his yeah, yeah, it's still God, bro. It's like 99% progress, bro. I'm pissed. There were no NPCs to help us. So we eventually, no we're like, okay, look, you this is ridiculous. You had to go into the bushes and spam E. Yeah. So we give up. We, we spammed all the bushes, no, to no avail. Into um, e. And we have to e. walk along the side of the road again and meet up with Ryan. At, at some point, the van did get fixed. The guy. Yeah, you know, there was um, something wrong with like, because I think with whatever it's called, limp mode. I don't know what the fuck it's called. But yeah. like, it goes into like overheating. Yeah. And oh, okay. then it just sense. it like caps at a certain speed. So you can't like overheat the engine. To protect the vehicle, yeah. Yeah. And um, there was like a screw loose or something that so it's supposed to, I don't know if it's like, if you loosen it, it yeah. I don't know, whatever. But it was like loose. So mm -hmm. it just. They probably just bumped it during cleaning. And just I don't know. Us. I reckon yeah. they, they could have undone it because yeah. maybe they had to clean the fucking um, hood or whatever. Mm. I don't know. Who fucking knows? Who knows? Mystery. Anyway, Mystery. Yeah. after like a three hour ordeal, eventually the van gets up and running. It's now like five hours later than what we wanted to be leaving at. Yikes. It's like, we're, by the time we're actually leaving Adelaide, it's 11. And, and we're just aware that yeah, oh, we're going to be arriving at six in the morning again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we buckled up for the drive. I took the first shift. And uh, honestly, the drive home was better. I don't know about you. Yeah, well, with the clean van, yeah. Clean van, you yeah. were sinking piss. I was, you know, on tunes all night. It was At a nice one point on the love sack, though, I was, like, getting mad air. Like, I don't think I ever <laughs> got as much air in my life as this. Was it that bumpy? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It was, like, fucking, like, going 100 k's on a road with these roads in the middle of nowhere. Holy like, shit. Fucking, like, I literally, I reckon I got at least, like, a couple feet higher. Like, well, so it's like when me and Fitz were yeah, on the, the, uh, the bed in the RV going to fucking Sydney. <laughs> yeah, and, no, it was and, literally and our, like that. And I was, like, I was like in sleeping position and I just levitated. It's the yeah. worst. Like horizontally. <laughs> it's the worst. Start floating. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> but, uh, it was so fun though, I'm not going to lie. Like, it was, yeah, I was, yeah, I was like, fun. more air, more it's air. It's fun until you want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was chill though. We stopped on the side of the road. Smoked uh, some pickle ricks. We had this little pickle rick uh, pipe. Oh, <laughs> very cool. Filled it up with weed. Looked was at the, looked at the stars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Have, oh, yeah. To, have to check I it think, out. He's, I he's a pickle that, and also a pipe. It's I think hilarious. they might have yeah. broke it last night when they got back. No. no. I think they did. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Oh, like, oh, I was on the couch like, about to pass out and I heard something break and I looked and it looked like a little pipe. A little, little pickle, pickle rick, little pickle rick just smashed on the ground, bro. <laughs> oh, good. I wanted to smoke out of a pickle rick play. <laughs> <laughs> it was very God good. Damn. Sounds and like a mission. It was a mission. And we got back home today. Yeah. At, this morning at like six. Six. So Slept. We got, five. Didn't get much sleep, but no. I, got, I, got, I got a decent amount, probably like five hours. We napped, we're chilling, we're here, and we're back on the podcast, back in Melbourne, and it's still fucking boiling. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah. We're all yeah, sweating. Fuck this weather, man. Fuck it. So that's kind of our week, just a random trip to Adelaide, me and Mace. It yeah. was fun though, we had a good time, it good time fun. in the pool, chilling. Fun. Would you say it was worth it? <laughs> uh, I would have liked to be home and stream. But. Uh, yeah, there were a couple of times where I was like, oh, why the fuck did I, did I come? But yeah. I, I enjoyed it, it was a nice little getaway, mm. as always. You kind of just got to, you know, mm. just realize, oh, I'm here now. I might as well. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see Josh. Yeah. It was great to see the Rapper Yeah, Racka just boys. meeting the other guys was yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. It's fun hanging out with Chad. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. I reckon good the stuff. highlight was meeting Racka Racka, that fucking, they're a pair. Yeah. Oh, was that like, the first time you met them? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, good yeah. boys. They should be coming back up to Melbourne, or at least Daddy should be coming up soon. So yeah. maybe we'll get him on the podcast and, and hear the full One story. of them was um actually like, he had to go somewhere like the next day and he was he just started up the bath in our room. What? And, like just turned on the bath. And he's like, I'm going to have a bath because he need to sober up. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then um Chad walks in like with a fucking big bottle of wine from the room mm -hmm. and just starts shaking it and sprays it all over him while he's oh, in the bath. That's <laughs> fun. It's just like... What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Funny. Cool. Funny. It's an yeah. Adelaide adventure. Yeah. Whenever, Adelaide whenever adventure. you guys go to another, like, like across state borders, you always get nervous that there's going to be a fucking outbreak and then everything's going to shut yeah. down and you guys are going to be stranded. Ah, uh, it was fuck. like Adelaide's even, it felt even better than here. You don't wear masks at all. In Apparently, Adelaide. Adelaide barely had COVID hit it. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just the thing is, they take it so seriously that it, all it takes is like one case, three yeah. cases, and then they're like, "Yeah, nah, two weeks, we'll yeah. shut it down." Mm. 
yeah but no <laughs> we're chilling it's it's, it's it's so, it's such a blessing to like go to a place and it feels like covid doesn't exist at all eh? it's nice yeah and melbourne's still doing okay too so Melbourne's we doing are, great, doing really good. It's really been, good. what, 18 days since any local transmission? Mm-hmm. Remember when it spiked up again a little bit, and then everyone was like, yeah. third wave, third, third wave. wave, and then it was like, no. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're on a high Oh, alert. I walked past the um the quarantine hotel. Yeah, that was I so saw weird. the snacks. Yeah, I was like oh, walking yeah. by, and I saw there was like a bunch of cops and shit was roped off. I'm like, am I not allowed to go over there? They're like, no, you just go around the ropes. I was like, okay, what, what is this all for? <laughs> He's like, oh, we have a new case coming in from the airport today. This is like the quarantine hotel. <laughs> Like, right as he said that, you see some chick walk out with, like, the full face mask, the gown, and all that shit. You Holy see shit. Like, there. Matt just starts holding his breath. <laughs> I did, I did. When I walked past again, I fucking, like, held my breath. But that's, that's what it's I, that's crazy what how I'm... much people they have there just for, like, one person coming in from the airport. Mm. It was like the whole road was shut down. They had, like, 20 cops and everything. It was wow. fucking nuts. Well, fuck. I mean, better safe than sorry. Yeah, we do not yeah, want sure. it here again. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 Why? it was so Why? bad at the beginning, like, yeah. the way... You know, they just weren't keeping people in hotels. Mm. Yeah. And now they don't fuck around. Well, it's like they were keeping people in hotels early. It's just that the, the fucking private security they hired, <laughs> oh, yeah. like, would get sick because they would fuck people in the hotel and then they would get <laughs> sick with COVID and they'd be like, oh, I want to go to Macca's for a lunch break. And they'd fucking fuck spread me, it to man. like 20 people yeah. and then go back and be like, ah, yeah, I'm fine. Bro, you can't make that shit up. What the fuck? Nah, dude. <laughs> that legit oh, Dirty about, rooter. What about on the trip where those guys were talking about me? Oh yeah. Well, one of the uh, we shouldn't get too much into it, but we went to a bunch of breweries with Chad, uh, which was part of like you know his his personal reason for going to Adelaide. Yeah. Check out a bunch of breweries for an unknown reason. And uh, while we were there, a couple boys recognized Mason, and I was I didn't even know they knew who you were, but I was taking a shit in yeah. the stall, <laughs> and all of a sudden there's three boys walk in. And he's like, "Oi, that suckles in there. That yeah, suckles in there, bro." I used to watch him when I was like, like seventeen, I was bro. Like, hey, going, mate? And he's like, "Yeah, good man. Fucking, <laughs> how's it going?" I was like, "Yeah." It's so funny. Like <laughs> we have people come up to us all the time, but I've never heard people fanboy without realizing that I was listening. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just heard them <laughs> talk about <laughs> you, like, <laughs> like they just don't know that you're just in there taking a shit. Like, yeah, like, you, <laughs> and then I walked, I walked. Out when the when the guy who was gushing was washing his hands and I just saw him like oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's funny yeah, it's, he's, oh, he's got so many subs, bro. <laughs> 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 it was good. What what happened in Melbourne while we were gone? Matt, yeah. you moved apartments. Yeah. Oh yeah, finally finally moving to a house now. Yeah. I like I lived in the apartment in the city and you had like the nice view and everything. I'm like, oh, this is so sick. Mm-hmm. But now I'm just fucking over it. I'm like, yeah, I hate this shit. I want to get a house. Want a garage. What, 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 what yeah. was like the biggest reason for moving? Was it space? Space and just like noise, and I don't have to worry mm, about noise. Yeah, or keep yeah. quiet at night. The also, wind fucking rattling would bro, it would fucking me like out. fucking sway the building and shit. <laughs> some, of the, <laughs> some of the videos Fox. you seen were scary, man. Yeah. Like when it's a windy day or some shit. Fuck it kept that. scaring away all the private escorts he was hiring. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. They, they prefer a ground level fucking. Crazy. <laughs> what, do, what do you reckon you'll miss about the apartment? The view? Yeah, maybe the sunsets. The view yeah. is nice when you see like the sunset, but like. Honestly, no, I, I'm like yeah, so excited just, just to fucking move out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Really? Just having to get like Uber house, Eats though. and then bringing that up. Like, oh yeah, that too. You have to yeah. fucking like go downstairs. I remember when Fuck the, like, the yeah. lockdown first happened. Yeah. They put like a little sign on the glass door. They're like, no, delivery drivers can't come in and like bring the food up to you. Yeah, and I was like, bro, out. I swear to God, I'm going to rip that sign down. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure enough, like within 24 hours, someone else did. Yeah. Like, I will endanger right. the lives of everybody else here. That's God damn right. Is so I can get my <laughs> to me. Hey, someone else ripped the sign down, not me. God damn. When I lived in apartments, I always went down to meet them. I didn't. I, I was like, I don't want them to get lost in the apartment. I don't yeah. want them to come up here. You just wanted to meet them. Just I, just, oh, I, hey. I want to shake their hand, you know, maybe spit on my hand first, you know, just yeah. exchange some germs. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That's just how I personally roll. I don't know. Yeah, so I go, going, what, what happened yeah. with you, bro? You've been streaming? Yeah, I've just been streaming, dude. I've been streaming on that epic SMP like eight to 13 hours a day oh, for geez, like the last guys. six or seven days. Just cracked up being an Damn. engineer. It's fucking. I'm just, the only reason like I can stream because like my whole thing was like once uh, Gamersups for one. Code Misfits. Yes. Code Misfits. Mm. Gamersups. Dot GG. I have. I we, we we recently got a new flavor, uh, but we were not going to divulge. It's super <sighs> top secret. Uh, it, Toby's drinking it right now. It's delicious. It's First fucking incredible. It. It, is, it is the best flavor, and that'll be unveiled it sometime is soon. So good. But but yeah, a couple of gamer types and and I go for like eight hours pretty easily. Well, but in bed, dude, <laughs> a, a, doing anything, anything at all. Eight hours. It's scientifically even sleeping. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, not that yeah, one. I can't that, dude. Not that one. No, I got him. Maybe if you drink a lot early in the day, you'll you'll you'll, you'll go to sleep pretty easy. 
Maybe. But yeah, I mean, I'm just addicted to Minecraft, dude. I'm addicted to that new mod they have, like all the all the people that what, are on. What the is server. that you're playing? Is that like Tekkit or something? It's shit? called it's called Create. So it's like you have like engines, like, um, like windmills and shit, right? Yeah, there's windmills, water wheels, uh, industrial engines with flywheels, like all these different <laughs> methods of generating power, and then you attach like um, shafts and gearboxes to it, so like it turns, and you can make all these different automatic machines. And so, like, the first two or three days, I was, like, trying to figure out, well, how does this all work? And then when I understood the fundamentals, I was like, oh, this is really easy. And then I just started building, like, crazy shit on the server. Like, I made a, a, a giant drill uh, <laughs> machine that'll just drill out oh, diamond yeah. level. Um, I took that um, cobblestone, and I had to go through three crushing wheels to make lime sand. And then I built this giant wall using this thing called the schematic cannon that shoots blocks i feel like such a dork explaining all this <laughs> shit on the podcast no everyone's but, playing minecraft but dude actually. i'm so into this mind i'm like making all these little machines i made a fucking train I made the whole train system oh I, I i i did a whole rail around did uh, a whole rail on stream it, it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah gamer size fucking hell this entire like uh, highway i built around the server uh connecting a bunch of like different parts and then I put a, I made a paving machine that, that laid down like a nine by one row and it just had to go all the way around, lay oh, down everything fuck? automatically. That's crazy. That's oh, yeah. Then I made the train and then I finally had it going today. I unveiled it and then I had to get off because we had to record a video with Jay Schleit. Which is funny because actually while we were broken down on the side of the road on that mountain, I get a message from Schleit on Discord and he says, uh, yo Fitz, when you shit, do you stand <laughs> or wipe? Do you stand to wipe? Yeah, yeah do you stand to wipe or do you sit? <laughs> and, and, and I replied, I replied, used to be a standard, now I'm a full-time sitter. And he was like, that's what you like to hear, have a nice day. And then I said, also, can you help? We're broken down on the side of a mountain. And he said, nope. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And I wake up this morning <laughs> after getting back from Adelaide after a fucking nine hour drive and I get another message from Schlatt and he goes, uh, uh, yo, you're around. Uh, did you get home from your van disaster? I was like, yep. And then he goes, uh, question, how strongly do you feel about the sit versus stand debate? Uh, because I would like to get a bunch of sitters and standers in a call to argue. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, I wouldn't say I feel strongly about it, but I do think I offer yeah. a unique perspective. And then he was like, okay, we'll be on Discord in 30 minutes. I'm presuming you got a similar... Yeah, well, he hopped onto the, uh, onto the SMP and was like, hey, you ready to record this video? And I'm like, dude, I'm like midstream. Like you... Because last night he had asked me about it. He said the same thing. Are you a sander or a sitter? And I was like, oh, I, I stand to wipe. Why? It's a stander. And, it's a stand uh, up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Are you a sitter then? Wait, well, what's everyone here? I'm we, a sitter. We, or we could debate after, after I do I'm this. I'm a sitter, sitter. He, he pretty much says, like, oh, it's in like 30 minutes. I was like, 30 minutes? I was like, I was like, I thought you said it would be like sometime this week. He goes, well, it is sometime this week. It's in 30 minutes. And I was like, that okay. Is, that is factual. It is facts. He was <laughs> spitting facts. So I had to end the stream. And while I got offline to do that, my, my train derailed and fell in the ocean. So oh. No. All yeah, that work. Yeah. So I have a schematic <laughs> no. of it. So all I have to do is get the material. Another 12-hour well. stream. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, but yeah, who is the sitter? And who's the standard? I'm a sitter. Sitter. So proud sitter. Right right used to well, stand. Well, let's just go no, around so we hear it properly. Toby. Yeah. Sitter. <laughs> Matt. I used to stand, but now I sit. Now you're a sitter. So you're reformed just like yeah, me. Yeah. Mason? I'll stand, mate. Stand. Yeah. You yeah. stand Practice your, your balance. I'm, a, uh, I'm the same as Matt. I used to <laughs> you don't get the same angle, though, you know? What do you you mean, can't, like, dude? get the whole angle and well, get everything let's out Let's continue we'll around a sec. Used to be a standard. Now I'm a full time sitter, Jay. Proud sitter, right? Proud sitter. And Swagger, of course, is a standard. Thank fuck I'm not the only one. Yeah, right? Now listen. Uh, the conclusion of this debate was more or less, listen, shit happens. Everyone shits differently. Everyone true, poops. True. All right, maybe we should set aside our differences and just accept that maybe you've found the technique that works best for you. Oh, Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I just realized something. You're a stander, right? Yeah. You have a bidet. How the fuck does that work? Well, I, I stand to wipe. So like, okay, okay. Like, like, I'll, 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 no, point. no, no. I don't angle my ass into the stream. <laughs> my ass standing. Like, right, let me make sure I get it right. No, no. I sit down and then I use the bidet. You know, and then like I stand to wipe. And the, the when the main reason I stand to wipe is because when you stand up, like you're done taking a shit. So you stand up and then you wipe your ass and it's easier to wipe your ass while standing mm -hmm. and then look at the toilet paper to mm -hmm. see, is there still shit on my ass? And then <laughs> you go, yes, there's, e there's either shit or it's not. It's, it's Boolean. It's like Boolean algebra. It's either a yes or a no. It's a one or a zero. <laughs> nah, nah, and, 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 nah. and if there's still <laughs> shit on your ass... You wipe again until no, there's none, right. and then you throw it away, and then you're already standing, flush the toilet, put on your pants, and you go. When you're sitting down on the toilet, 
your cheeks are a little bit spread, your assholes yeah, are open. Yeah, you get a better angle. Exactly. You, 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 are, you, as like, soon as you stand up, your cheeks go together <laughs> and you create, I, I, you've got a bidet, so I'm, I'm gonna yeah. allow this. But, you know, sitting down is the best way. And listen, I go from the front as well, which a lot of people seem think, oh, no, oh don't no. you get shit all over your balls? No. Uh, no, because I'm not a fucking, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> say you know it. I'm gonna say it. Reform. I'm gonna say it because I'm not an idiot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and I actually know how to lift up my ball sack a little bit. That's what I do. Yeah. I put my hand, and then I do this, and then you're able to investigate, and then you drop it into the toilet. <laughs> no harm done whatsoever. It's a clean job. I used to stand how, up. I get it, but no longer. <laughs> what? How are my pubic lines? Oh, no. Dude, I get a private <laughs> investigator for mine. <laughs> yeah. I get someone else to check. <laughs> Jason Richie's got a little person. I get someone to check. Is, it, hey, this, is this shit in there? We had this old bit in the video. It's so fucking immature and stupid, but it was like, uh, instead of a bidet, you just have a person that just like fills up their mouth with water <laughs> and then squirts it into your asshole for you, like a servant. <laughs> yeah. Little like guy in your toilet goes, if you've got enough money, man, like, anything's, anything's possible. possible. Yep. But back to the serious discussion. Uh, why would you bother standing up, Mace? It's like extra effort, I feel Dude, like, right? it's just easier, man. I get, I get, I Like, uh, you're already standing up, ready to go, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. I, when I do everything, I rush, so, mm. like... You're a speech hitter. I'm surprised you even, I'm a like, wipe at all. What, 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 what did Chad say in the group chat? He said he was fanging out a shit. Do you fang out a shit? Banging out it. I don't even know what that means. It's like, like, like stressing, a like, like... It's like, a turbulent shit. I don't shit. stress shit, but I shit quickly. Yeah, it's because like, you smoke cigarettes. No, no. <laughs> it just falls out of you. Yeah, yeah, true, true. But I, I just like, I just do everything quick. So I'm just like, yep. Right. That's it. I don't want to be here. You don't linger yeah. on the toilet. You're not I like used a... to sit on the toilet for like 15, 20 minutes, mm. just watch a video or something like, just chill out. Yeah, yeah and then I get you. Now I just want to get it over and done with. I can't, I can't, I can't believe that Jay Schlack convinced all of these YouTubers to get together in the Discord call and, and debate this. We had, who, who was there? Ted? We had Carl Jacobs. I don't know if we should uh, oh uh, spoil any of this. Uh, it'll be well, out, probably it, be uh, out by then, right? You know what, it fuck might it. be out. Who, who, who gives a fuck? Uh, oh, there were just a bunch of people there. Minx was there. Yeah, Minx. Um, fucking Miskiff. Miskiff was there. <laughs> yeah. While he was streaming as well, he just muted his mic so everyone can like look at him talk but not hear him. Yeah. So he just muted his mic on stream for like it was like fifteen minutes, and he just was like on the on the call like talking. He just sat around and like, yeah. and there for like forty five minutes debating this shit, literally. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I don't know really where we got with it. At the end, I think we kind of just realized that you got to accept. Everyone's method. Everybody's different. Yeah. Has their own. Were there any surprising methods that were? Well, Minx kept bringing up finger in her asshole, which was kind of okay. weird. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, any of I you guys just finger horny. your asshole? <laughs> we're like, no, like with toilet paper with her fingers, and she's mm. like, oh, with toilet paper, of course. And then mm. we're like, oh, no, and she and and then she said something about like she needed to prepare for anal, like what if, what if uh, the off chance? Or who, something, something? who knows? Just fucking diddly dee potatoes with that woman, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. It was a stupid debate, and, it but it was funny. very funny. It was, it very, was a very, very entertaining funny. little. It was call. meant to be stupid. I, I'm guessing Schlatt's gonna make a video about it, so you guys oh, can yeah. look forward to that on his channel, and you can see the whole thing for yourself. But anyway, it's kind of like a beat into death discussion, isn't it? The old sh sit versus stand yeah. debate. It's I didn't I, realize it was such a debate. I didn't really realize. Did I. That, Apparently, people. I, feel I was expecting everyone to be sitters. Mm. I thought that was. Well, I thought thing. that was the norm. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. understand the the whole sitting thing. I I tried it like today to to like I'll, I'll give sitting another try mm. and it just like it was just awkward to to like either reach in the front or reach through the back and it was just like just gotta like give it a little lean. Yeah. You know? it, it depends Cause, cause on your like, body type. It depends on everything. Because I can't. Know, like, I I don't have like extra space in my on the toilet seat to like be able to stick my hand behind me and yeah. wipe. Like I have to li lift my cheeks up off the toilet. <laughs> I go and from if, the side, bro. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 from the side. From yeah. the side. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Like I go, like I'm not like. But like if man, I'm if I'm lifting my sad. ass up off the toilet, anyways, like carrying a six pack kind of thing. <laughs> you know, like, if no. I'm lifting my ass up off the toilet, anyways, while I'm sitting down, doesn't that still like? Oh, I'm not. My asshole okay, isn't spread. But, but but then if you do need to wipe again, you're just standing there awkwardly. You know. Mm. Yeah, you're a half squat. Why bother with that one? I mean, I get like if you if you don't have space like to get in there, I, I have plenty of room. I, I like got my legs wide, bro, and I'm just like a whoosh, no problem. In and out, fast. No problems. Efficient. Clean, efficient, safe. You know what you standards should do? Stand while shitting. That'll make it even well, that's like what, more about that. Just up straight like a pencil. Just, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the straight real question. Just start wearing you, diapers. You're done. Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> well, that's someone said that. Someone said, look, we we're all born into diapers and we'll all die in diapers. You know, yeah. that's, that's the mm -hmm. thing. It's a thing for infants and elderly. 
We will all return to our roots at some point, I'm sure. Did you ever use one of those toilets where you have to like squat over it? Where it's just like the hole in the ground? This was discussed as well. Yeah. These these Out kind of more Eastern style toilets. Yeah, those mm. things are weird. I try. I looked at it. I was like, I tried it for a minute, and I was like, yeah, nah, fuck this. I'm not doing this. Well, believe it or not, that's actually the the correct way that a person's supposed to shit is the squat. Squat. Yeah. yeah. You know what you can get? You can get these little stools. squatty potties. Yeah. Squatty potty. Ah. Get a little stool, lifts up your legs. It's like yeah. you're squatting. Exactly. Yeah. That's actually clutch. That's actually a yeah. a good thing. I don't have. have one. Neither do but I. Hey, they're great. Yeah, heard, heard wonderful things. <laughs> if it's just like a <laughs> toilet to with like a recliner. <laughs> if it's like this fancy... Why don't they make luxury toilets? They're like l recliners. Oh, you yeah. Fucking pull like a leather out, seats. Like, yeah. yeah. Massage. It's just, it's just yeah. like a, like a suction cup attaches to your asshole and a vacuum sucks it all out. Oh, my God. Oh, no wiping nice? required. What? A heated toilet seat. That sounds yeah, nice. Kind of nice. That'd be yeah. OP. Right now, that sounds terrible. I'm fucking sweating right there. Have you seen the ones where they put like cloth on the toilet seat? Oh. Almost like the bath mat that goes around like the toilet and shit, but it's like What's on that the toilet. For? Seat. Is that just for comfort? Do I, I guess so. I, I piss all over that thing just to <laughs> prove a saying. point. <laughs> just to prove a point. Can we all agree that those toilets? Some people have toilets with like carpet yes. below them. Yeah, so that's that, what I mean. Yeah. That is disgusting. That's, that's disgusting. Yeah. That is fucking Buffering rancid. Floor, like, I have like nothing. I have like one of those like IKEA carpet mats under like one of my toilets, but it's like next to my shower. It's from when my feet are wet. Mm. Yeah, but you should just. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. When when you pee, do you fold it over so you don't get any pee on the towel? Um, no. I just I, I lift the seat up and I go right over the bowl and I just like grab my <laughs> cock with and, both hands and you aim and, and I aim it. Oh, yeah. is that? Oh, that's you meant oh. to aim. Yeah, I have to cock it. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> still getting used to that. I sort of turn mine on sprinkler mode and just kind of just just, sway yeah. my hips. I just stand there and go with the flow, literally. Imagine, <laughs> imagine like a way to piss would be like you grab your cock and you, like you ring out the piss. Ah. Like you just ring it out, it just all goes, it just all goes out, like, oh, like, a, like a wet towel. Someday we'll move past the need for a piss and a shit, and then we'll just yeah. jump in a dehydrator and it'll just suck it out of us somehow, just like literally through our pores. Just reabsorb it. <laughs> yep, into plastic sealed bags, store them in the fridge for later. Yep, yeah, freeze them style. Use them as a nice pillow or something. <laughs> nice pillow. I don't know. It's a good protein, mate. Fill up the waterbed with it. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I, I, has anyone ever slept on a waterbed? I tried mm, once, there. not yeah. fun. Not fun. Yeah. It depends on the quality like? of them. It just feels like you're like a little bit, it's a little bit uncomfortable because you're kind of like just sinking and moving all the time. Yeah. It's, it's such a like uh, mid 2000s idea, I feel. Mm, the yeah. Waterbed. They were like, oh, that'll be cool. And then they're like, oh, it's kind of not cool. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you know what's great? Let's, let's take a giant, <laughs> let's take a giant bed and fill it with like a hundred liters yeah. of, of liquid in your bedroom. Yeah, and so if it's it pops, it idea. floods your entire fucking room. <laughs> That's all right. Whenever I have a girl over, it floods my room too. Wait, because you're Ooh. sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Women there love lesbians. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Women love lesbians. They That's do. a Swagger Souls quote. They <laughs> put on a shirt and get him canceled for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, sp I'm spinning flags. Spinning flags. flags. I'm, I'm spinning flags. <laughs> what are you doing with all that flag swagger? Weaving make, baskets? Make him, make him bowstring, dude. Bowstring. Yeah, yeah, trying, to get, trying to get my flinching up. Did you ever... Did you Kiwis ever do flax weaving in school? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. We have some flax but baskets. Genuinely, it was just, just a normal part of New oh, Zealand school. Mm. I also shat in the woods. That's also another and part of yeah. New Zealand school, New Zealand childhood. Weaving flax and shitting in the woods. <laughs> That's a New right. Zealand learning I shat experience. in the woods once and didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. There's yeah, one time I was doing a haka in the woods, and yeah. when I did the squat down, I took a shit, bro. Took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> just something, it's just something you gotta do. Sorry. When you shit in the woods, do you stand to wipe, you know? What, what do you, you do? You're squatted and then you Back stay Because you're squatting. Is squatting technically standing? If a kiwi shits in the woods, does it make a sound? Yes. Yeah. What, what does it sound like? Perf. <laughs> Perf. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Kia ora, chi. <laughs> sure, back when I was back when I was like scaling buildings and shit, fucking my mate just took a shit in a construction site. As if up oh, top. Yeah. No, no. Oh, it's like that would have been crap. awesome. Yeah. Just like, up top and it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't watch that. No. Oh, Wait, well, you watched it? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, have any of you guys ever ridden a horse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Feature. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feature. Yeah. Horses are fucking terrifying. Yeah. Horses I fucking like horses. suck, dude. Fuck horses. I like horses. They're Whoa. so big. Why? I thought you hated horses. No, Whoa, I, I just horses. think they're dumb I'm as an, rocks, bro. I'm an advocate for the horse. I heard KSI I could knock a horse out. They got massive cocks. They do yeah. have pretty big cocks. That's Imagine why I being don't like the, them. Imagine being a horse with a small cock. It's going to feel bad. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> be Just like a human sized cock on a horse. It's getting teased by everyone else. You're like, no. No, I got a small cock.
<laughs> yeah, that's probably exactly what they do. Yeah, they do be winning about those horses. Mm. So they can, it's all they're really good for besides riding and sucking. Yeah, and, and yeah. losing races and getting shot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking their legs, fucking, you know, <laughs> getting a bullet between the eyes. God yeah. damn. Well, yeah. what's a horse going to do with a broken leg, Swagger? Oh, I don't know. Exactly. Ew. Fucking shoot it. Put it out of its misery. Make some glue. Yeah, make, make some gummy bears. Gummy <laughs> bears and some glue. Oh, I still can't believe that. It's a yeah. shocker. Who Lock? figured that out? Let me, like, grind this horse up and make some fucking gummy sweets. Someone sweet that's really fucked like. up, that's for sure. Gelatin's yeah. kind of gross. Yeah. Isn't that weird that, like, candy is, like, made from animals? It's Yeah, definitely oh, seems what the like fuck you is shouldn't be about? eating it. <laughs> like, yeah, the fuck? <laughs> What do you mean? So much stuff is made of animals. Yeah, no, but like you look at mm. a uh, like a piece of candy and you're like, that's oh, it's just a, oh, yum. Like sugar. Yum. This is sugar and sugar and fucking water yeah. or something. Sugar you know? and horse. Pla <laughs> pl you know, plastic is made from from animals. Huh. Some plastic or oil. all plastic. Most pla all plastic. Oh, if, you, if you're oil. talking about oh, oil, yeah. oil is yeah. just you know dead fuels. dinos, bro. Does that, does that mean vegans can't drive cars? Oh, truth. <laughs> vegans can't do shit. Fossil fuels made from dinosaurs. How yeah. me and Jay were having this debate. Do you think there's more fish in the sea or ants? On ants. The we we googled it. Remember, no, there's, there's no. three point seven trillion ants. Bro, but do you know how much plankton there is, man? Yeah, think of the oh, little micro. Whales fish. have to eat a lot of plankton and to krill. get a full stomach, bro. Well, I don't so think true. plankton qualifies fish. I would if they <laughs> micro in the ocean. Yeah, I think it's fish. I think you're I'd right. I'd say they're probably I fish. Know, dude. Are are plankton aren't fish? Yeah, no. Yeah, as they I said, are. They, they live animals. in the ocean, man. Yeah, no. That's a fish. So do dolphins, kind of, but they're mammals. That's dolphins are fish. Dolphins well, are fish, mammals. bro. <laughs> I thought Plankton was just a really angry little green guy on SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> little green cunt that fucks a computer. Kind of weird. He does Karen. have a computer girlfriend. Oh, oh, was Karen. Such a Karen. Karen. She was the original Karen. She's the literally. original e-girl, oh bro. God. She's an e-girl. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he's the a fucking eagle. Computer's just a fucking Twitch streamer he's obsessed with. <laughs> uh, Plankton. Oh, I do. He never got that formula, did he? He was an nah. incel. Yeah, he was a bit of an incel. Yeah. Kind of an incel. Yeah, fucking the clown. Who the fuck would want to eat at the goddamn chum bucket, bro? Who would want to eat there? Not me. I would, I would eat there. You'd eat chum? You'd eat chum. I, you know I, would, chum is, right? I would do it for the novelty. What is chum? It's like <laughs> just ground up fish, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why is everything ground up creatures? It is. It's just that's fish true. that's been like <laughs> fucking murked. Can you eat plankton? Uh, if it's so small, you probably couldn't. Yeah, yeah, if you get like a spoonful or like <laughs> a spoonful of plankton. plankton. <laughs> I mean, whales eat a shit ton of plankton just at once with their huge gullets. Maybe if you had a big old gullet. That's so dumb. Don't they, they, like, they like filter feed the plankton. They just have their, like, they, they just, it provides yeah. maybe a little bit of sustenance, but they mostly eat krill. Mm. A krill like big? Or like yeah, how? krill oh, are yeah. like this big. Okay, okay. They're, like, they're like small. They're small shrimp. You say, why don't they just eat fish? Whales would accidentally eat so much random shit as well. Yeah, what, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, a whale actually ate a diver. Or, or it, 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 Chomped on a diver, it didn't really chomp, but it opened up its mouth and the diver got stuck in its mouth. And you know, with well, well teeth, it's just bristle, it's all bristle, mm. so it's like a wall you can't get out of it. It's pitch black, mm. you're being like moved around. And uh, what the whale does is like it senses that there's something in its mouth that shouldn't be in there, and it just fucking spits it out, spews them out. Oh, wow, mm. yeah, it's crazy. It's not, it's not like Nemo, it's not like Pinocchio. Nemo where they go through the blowhole. Or didn't anything. that happen in Pinocchio? Didn't his dad get in a fucking whale stomach? Yeah, he yeah. might well. Yeah. Moby in the Dick Bible as well? that did that. Moby Dick, yeah, yeah. Moby, Moby Dick. Huge, Moby Huge, yeah, yeah. Moby Dick, yeah, someone in the Bible as well. Yeah, yeah, so many people have been eaten by whales. I mean, that's like what? three people, but okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. finding Nemo as well. <laughs> did finding Nemo get eaten by a whale? Yeah, yeah, the dad, the dad, Dory, they got eaten. What the fuck? Yeah, they Friday got... Nemo's dad's dead? Spoilers! No, not eaten, not Spoilers. eaten, like, sort of just inhaled. Oh my god. And then yeah. shot out the spout. You know who is dead? Larry King just died. No. Oh, Wait, he yeah. died? Yeah, yeah, Larry he King did. Just died. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah died yesterday. COVID, I think. Holy fuck. One of the great interviewers of our time. Yeah. It'd be so wild to have Larry King on the podcast. I couldn't imagine him. Well, could... he's dead now. Well, yeah, that's, that's part of why it would be so wild. Yeah. But uh, if he was alive and here, I just imagine what that <laughs> dynamic would be. You know, what kind of questions would he ask us? Larry King apparently is famous for uh, never researching his guests before he interviews them. So like a, a lot of his guests, he just has no fucking like. Who the fuck a, are you? He had this Eric Andre interview. He had no idea who the fuck. Eric Andre wow. was. I mean, <laughs> that probably in a way could make for a better interview. Yeah, well, that's his theory. His the yeah, I think I don't know. You know, Larry King, and now I never will. Sadly. Um, but uh, apparently like 
he just felt like he was such a good interviewer that he could just get to know them yeah. on the show and then it would be good content, which is fair enough. He was a very good interviewer and obviously you know, there's some interesting questions and some funny yeah. dynamics, but. That guy worked until the day he died. He I did. have a lot of respect for, for that man. He's a very hard working fella. Very, yeah. uh, very up there in showbiz. RIP to a legend. RIP. Yeah. Speaking of almost RIP, there was uh, Betty White was trending the other day, and every time Betty White trends, I'm like, oh my god, she's mm. she's dead, and she just turned 99. Bro, Dude, I'm, I'm that's crazy. She change. gets a skill cape now. She just keeps leveling up. <laughs> <laughs> that's max level in Diablo. She has all the spells oh, on. Yeah. Dude. Fuck. Almost a hundred it's, Betty White. It's, it's my favorite bit whenever I'm with people that are either really, really high or like on a psychedelic or something, and like they're all chilling out. I go into the bathroom, like I take a piss or whatever, and then I get on my phone, and then I walk out of the bathroom on my phone, and then I go, holy shit, guys, Betty White just fucking died. <laughs> and then, then they're like, that's... what? And then I look at my phone, I'd be really convincing, like full on played up, like acting, blah, 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 <laughs> like fucked. really try to convince them. And they'd be like, no way, no way, it's fucked up, it's fucked up. I'd be like, guys, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I think I've seen you do that before. Yeah, I've, I've, done, it, I've done it a couple but times. But like, I don't know who the fuck Betty White is. Yeah, well, <gasps> shame on you. Uh, I guess so. She's an old Who woman. She's just, just an old, old woman. woman. Oh, really? She's, she's, old she's like the queen. No, she's a very famous actor. She was, yeah. She's been acting for many, many years. Her name does sound familiar. Yeah. But like, I feel like I probably wouldn't watch a movie. No, nah, you're probably too young. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of too she young. She was probably in something yeah. that you've seen. But she's just like, a yeah, household yeah. name, you know? Yeah. Bro, I'm afraid to change my Discord avatar now. Like, I've had that oh, gif of her. Petty White Dan. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid to change it because I know if I change it, she'll die and then I'll, like, Oh my I'll god, that's, live with that's that why. Oh my god, like she's alive. <laughs> it's like, imagine as soon as, as, soon as you change know, it, it's I just know. like Betty White dead at age 99. <laughs> because yeah, because I notorious changed, changed the profile, profile picture. picture. Now you've said it on the podcast too, so the articles will be writing about yeah, you. Yeah, that's like, I can't change it at this point, man. <laughs> just, who is to blame? Yeah. Probably Matt. Like, let's think about it. <laughs> I had a conversation with Whoa. someone the other day. We were discussing what Donald Trump, uh, what color his skin is under the, uh, under the fake tan, and Green. I said Betty White. <laughs> but, you know, well, it's, it's in, pretty good. It's just, <laughs> just like in, like old pale, like old not pale. just normal pale, but old pale. Mm. I reckon he's green. Well, no, I meant I Is bet it? he's white. Oh, but, you know that's all right. Oh, Betty pretty white. white. Yeah, yeah, Betty oh, White. Betty White. Mm. Took uh, me a minute. Yeah, no worries. You got any nope. other uh, quick jokes for us? Any quick one liners there, Toby? Oh, you no, working on? No, thanks. Nothing in the pipes. No, no, no. no, um, no call me and, and just have a think. <laughs> yep. Oh, I mate, I heard your mate got hurt, right? Well, what? Your mate got hurt. What do you mean? Your mate? Yeah, your mate hurt. got hurt. My mate? Yeah, I bet he's right. Oh, I'm that was so, so not good. <laughs> no. Oh, it was so a good attempt. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is Jokes just fly past my mind. Mind. No, don't worry. <laughs> Flew past my Betty, uh, Betty, uh, Betty upset with you for that one. Betty upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what oh has happened? God, I don't know. It's too man. hot in here. I woke up too early. <laughs> we're, 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 we're going into limp mode. We're all damp. We're going into limp mode. Overheating. Oh, no. Fuck, my engine light's been on for the last 30 yeah, minutes. Man. Fuck, oh, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. God. Hey, Swagger, how long does Coke last? Like with, like the high from Coke, how long does it last? Why are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, why I don't do people? Are you I'm the only know. person. I, I just meant that you you know a lot about drugs. Yeah, I, Coke is like one of the drugs that I haven't bothered to research because I know I have no intention of using it. Oh, okay. And I never expected a lot of people like in our circle to you know maybe do cocaine. So. <laughs> What the fuck are you trying to say? <laughs> you're, trying, you're making it sound like people just are doing cocaine all the time when really it's only partially a problem. <laughs> it's only like a little bit of the time. Okay, well, can someone tell me how long a cocaine I think high lasts? Isn't it like 30 minutes? A friend it, told it, me it's that. Like, it's like on average minutes. like a 45 to an hour thing. And for the record, just to our listeners at home, we're not doing a bunch of cocaine. Don't worry, okay? Just like, uh, just yet. maybe like every Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> no, not so even is that. Is it actually not even 30 that. minutes? 30 minutes. Yeah, know, 45 if, if, to an if hour, it's such I a guess. short high, you may as well take it. Someone well, asked me the other day, it. they said if you had to take any one drug, uh, like if you didn't take a drug, you, you were going to die, what drug would you take? And I just said I'd do Nangs because they last like fucking 10 seconds. But it's crazy. Mm, maybe, maybe I should have done Coke. It sounds like it's quite chill. Coke's so overrated, should have done. <laughs> you crazy said you something it. like Coke can last that long, and then you got like LSD, which can last like eight, eight hours. hours. I that's feel like that's terrifying. Crazy, yeah. I would... Nah, it's lit. Bro. No, I'm not even How long know. does MD last? MD mm, like, like four to six hours. Yeah, four to six yeah. hours. Are there any that last like days? Probably. Um, if you take a lot of acid, acid or really? a lot of shrooms. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. 
Coke's overrated, guys. Do, uh, don't do cocaine. Cocaine ruin your brain. That's what they say. Cocaine. Uh, ruin just your brain. stick to doing like heroin. Um, yeah. Ketamine. Methamphetamine. Methamphetamine. You know, ketamine. You know. Dude, my my sister, my sister sent me a text today, and she said like, um, you know, she has edibles. She recently got edibles, mm. and she was asking me like, hey, like. You know, if I take like a lot, like this many, this much amount of edibles, like I'm worried that I'm going to have a bad trip. And I was like, well, either take less or just smoke. And she goes, ah, no, nah, it's okay. I'll just do ketamine. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> she, Not, well, it's prescribed. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's prescribed it's ketamine. ketamine. It's prescribed. Okay. Just lit. Why, why not do both? I think that's a very sick combo. Get a Fuck that. It's, <laughs> Fuck a, it's a taco girl meme. Why not have both? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 I've, 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 she offered me 100 milligram lozenge, and, and I said, no, <laughs> no, thank you. I don't know what ketamine is like. I've never taken it. I don't know. Maybe that's we should, maybe we should ask those right? horses we keep criticizing yeah, so much. Yeah. True. <laughs> what do you guys think maybe about ketamine? Maybe that's why they're so dumb. They just keep doing ketamine all the time. It's like, oh, a horse got any ketamine? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go. Bottoms. Yesterday, I was uh, I was at a party. Uh, there was a one of those you know big music countdowns of the year where the, they count down the most 100. popular songs of the year. Hottest oh, one hundred. I eat the most shit songs of the year. Yeah, it was, wasn't <laughs> good. I didn't yeah. listen to any of the music. I was in a different room playing our own music, but that's okay. Mm. It was more about the party, mm -hmm. uh, and there, there was some MD going around. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, you know, I haven't done drugs in a very long time. Maybe I should just try some MD. Mm. I didn't, but Aww. good for you. Good. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> These are great cautionary tales. <laughs> Two tales where you were just like offered drugs and you simply said no thanks. <laughs> Damn, we reformed. Well, no, reformed. I, I was. I, I just you know it's the first time in a very long time that I was like, maybe maybe, maybe we'll try some drugs. Yeah. Well, Australia's got a very casual drug culture, similar mm -hmm. to places Especially like... Especially with MD. Yeah, it's very similar to uh, places like the UK and, and New Zealand is very common too. America, I think, is quite... America, there's plenty of ecstasy going around, but I don't think it's the same uh, kind of culture I, I here. Couldn't, I, couldn't, I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't hide the source MDMA back home for the life of me. Not that I would go out of my way to, to <clears> source it, but yeah. I'm just saying like, it, it was something I was never offered and, and something like I knew nobody who could get a hold of it. Mm -hmm. Weed, easy. Yeah. Like, well, you maybe. have a whole war on drugs over there, which is kind of a lot more so kind of yeah. enforced and like drilled into people. So I think yeah, to, to a lot of Americans, like the idea of even taking ecstasy probably sounds like, whoa, that's a hardcore, crazy thing. Whereas most Australians are fucking, there's a huge sesh culture in Australia where kids yeah. are just fucking on the shit every weekend, which by the way, it's a very bad idea. Don't, don't fucking don't be doing, don't do don't be don't doing do MDMA or Coke or ketamine or any of these other crazy shit all heroin? the time. Just if you're gonna do them, do them like a little bit yeah, here and there. If you're gonna you know? do one drug every day, like weed, like Heroin. honestly, like is yeah. the most sustainable. It's still not a good idea. It's still not a good idea. You don't like, need like, a drug every day. Yeah. Uh, Caffeine. Definitely. With gamersubs. Gamersubs. That GG. <laughs> use code Misfits for ten percent off. This is the only drug you should have every day. That's right. It's that good. It is that good. Caffeine's it is that good. pretty it's good. Addictive. Get your aimbot. Australia is very like nonchalant with the drug stuff. I feel oh, like extremely so. Every like if, if if you hang out with someone you know that goes clubbing or anything in yeah. Australia, they do drugs. You'll get offered pills for sure. It's like everyone. Yeah. It's just normal. It's just yeah. what you do. Like, like that dude on the plane. Remember, <laughs> but when we were coming back from LA, just Wait. casually done meth. <laughs> that <laughs> or was from Australia. I don't want to say his name. Nah, yeah. but he was from Australia. Yeah, I have That's him on so Facebook. Funny. You still yeah. have him. <laughs> That was like two years ago. Yeah, oh, three weird. years. That's so funny. Just casually see him a couple every now and then on a post with a suit, you know, <laughs> yeah. some venue or something. Yeah, just does meth. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, he gave me melatonin. I remember. Yeah, he had melatonin for us. <laughs> I wouldn't. I Maybe wouldn't, I wouldn't accept it. I didn't even know if it was. <laughs> yeah, who knows, dude? But we were asleep for eight hours. Fucking Xanax, bro. We were asleep for eight hours. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, melatonin comes in bars, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Is this is new <laughs> guys yeah. don't uh, don't do a bunch of drugs just do a little bit of drugs maybe if you feel like it or don't do them at all that would be my personal advice yeah. Yeah. Says, like or maybe says, do all do like drugs. the shirt says yeah exactly don't do drugs smoke weed <sighs> smoke weed that's what it says guys we're kind of at an hour here um okay anything else that we want to discuss or bring up oh, uh, it's fucking hot it's fucking yeah. hot. <laughs> it is, it at least 50 toasty. celsius out here it's steamy uh, we're back under the lights of the set it feels good to be back on the set yeah, in person it it's a shame that the car is gone but yeah. 
you know things will develop and evolve here i'm sure i'll uh, try to get some more stories for you guys for next time we've got a couple of adventures coming up which uh, yeah we get a big twist yeah. you know going a big quest all mm. the misfits and a big quest just the boys yeah oh. be fun. Oh, and girl oh, no, oh, toby's yeah, actually not invited I'll stay home. <laughs> like, like the ski trip i see how it is <laughs> uh guys uh good to have you guys back here and listening absolutely we love you except that we don't uh, we don't actually know you, but we like you enough. Well, I don't know. I like most of you. Well, I appreciate you for uh, filling our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for that. Yeah, Cheers. you're all. Right. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week, G. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>